So October windstorms uh, and rainstorms, no joke. Like obviously 2017, yeah. right? We had like a half a million people without right. power, but that was October too. And you always yes. talk about the ground being saturated and the kind of the wind direction. And it's like always like the perfect storm that can right. cause a lot of damage. Yeah, they, everything kind of kind of adds up and, and, and fits into the puzzle piece when it's October, when it comes to power outages, you get storms and that's when we see our biggest ones. I mean, because the leaves add weight and the ground, you know, in the winter time freezes up solid. So it's like the roots are in a cement block and then, you know, the trees don't really topple over in that. They might break halfway up or, you know, something like that. But this time of the year, it's just so much easier to get a tree to topple over, to get a branch to break and therefore get a power outage. And we're seeing them this morning. I want to, though, start with the waves out off of the coast of New England. Um, I mean, I've been forecasting in New England for 21 and a half years. I can't remember seeing wave heights this big, not too far off the coast, a 23 footer off of York County, 25 feet off of the New Hampshire seacoast. This buoy right here has been reading 32, 33, 31 footers. That's off of Cape Ann in Massachusetts. Insane stuff. Stuff that you see from like a Cat 4 hurricane, you know, whether it's in the Atlantic or the Pacific or the Gulf of Mexico. And while this is not a hurricane, it's kind of acting like one. As it backed into Nantucket and Cape Cod, the winds just went crazy. And the gusts down there have topped 90 miles per hour a couple of times. Thankfully, Maine is on the periphery of this storm. Yet we're still seeing gusts over 40 miles per hour and still getting some rain. And the rain, while not super heavy, is persistent, light to moderate, and will continue for the majority of the day. It's a little heavier right now in Bangor and Brewer and heading down the Penobscot and then out in Washington County, especially coastal Washington County, seeing some heavy downpours too. But really the wind has caused most of the problems. Down in southern New England, there are over 400,000 power outages here in eastern Massachusetts alone. And these are the current gusts, Falmouth, Hyannis, Marshfield, 60 miles per hour. So it's still cranking, still cranking down there. Occasionally here in Maine, we get a gust over 40 miles per hour. That's the case in Augusta right now. And 40 is pretty much the threshold from what we were just talking about with Lee and Sharon. When leaves are on trees and the ground is soft and wet, that's when a tree can topple over in a 40 mile an hour gust or a limb can break from the added weight from the leaves in a 40 mile an hour gust. Now we don't have as many power outages up here, but we do have some and we're around 20,000 or so. So it's nothing to sneeze at. Light rain out there for the most part. It's a loud wind too because the leaves like add to the noise, if you will. And that's what we have out there all morning long. There are a ton of wet leaves on the roads. There's a lot of debris on the roads too. Uh, driving in, I think, you know, uh, Portland's got uh, a trash pickup day because I could see all the, you know, the cans on the side and, you know, there's some of them have fallen over. So there's stuff out there. Give yourself a few extra minutes. You're going to need it. Sprinkles linger into the evening right up till sunset. And then after the sun goes down, all rain ends. The wind settles down, too. I mean, the gusts, they're going to relax a little bit as we approach the middle of the day and get into the afternoon, but it's still going to be breezy out there. Tomorrow and Friday, high pressure around, back to sunshine. Nice tranquil couple of days, which will be nice. And then low pressure again makes a run at us with more heavy rain. This low will not be anything close to the low that we're getting right now. It's not going to be that strong, but it will have a connection to the subtropics and it's going to bring up some moisture. And we're going to squeeze that out when this front passes, passes and we'll have about a six hour period of some heavy rain and it looks like noon to like six or four to eight, something like that. Saturday evening, we get drenched. Sunday, we dry out. So good news for trick or treaters. It should be pretty mild too, with temps around 60. Good weather to start next week. There's a storm morning on our coastal waters, not a gale watch. I'm not sure why this is not updating. Seas way up there, as I just showed you. Winds gusting out of the northeast, 50 knots or so. Hopefully uh, everyone got their boats out of the water. Um, I saw a few on the moorings out there, but. Hopefully they're still there. All right, light rain, wind, light rain, strong wind, 50 degrees. Some sun out there Thursday and Friday, 50s. Rain returns on Saturday, heavy in the afternoon and evening. Halloween turns partly sunny and mild. This time of the year, 60 degrees is mild, folks. 
So that's good for the trick or treaters. Early next week looks very nice as well. Lots of sunshine on Monday. And the rain on Saturday, just more run of the mill rain. I mean, we're going to get an inch, inch and a half. I mean, it's still a lot. How uh, about wind? Not as much wind. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't think we'll be dealing with power outages from that event. Right. So fingers crossed, because yeah. power outages around Halloween are just a yeah. Little we've too had scary. those in the past. They're not fun. A little too scary. All right. Thank mm -hmm. you, sir.